Hello and welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, we're gonna check out a bunch of giant dinosaurs that are in the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. And I've actually got some brand new toys as well to unbox. Let's get started with this big one right here. This is from the Jurassic World Dominion toy series that just came out. Let's open it up. All right, so we've got the capture and crush truck. And let's go ahead and click the arm into place. All right, this truck is used for capturing those dinosaurs, like this Velociraptor right here. Let's see it in action. Car's driving around, along comes this raptor, and you can use the claw to swoop down and pick up the raptor and then put it in the back of the truck. Just like that. Now we have a captured Velociraptor. Or is he captured? This is a really cool toy. And it even comes with a few more things as well. You've got a cannon in there. You've got some chains. And I think this truck actually has an additional feature to it. So check this out. The truck can actually break apart. When the Raptor comes along and it headbutts the front of the car, bam! Oh no, look out! The truck's broken! That is so cool! And you can even do that on the side too. You can headbutt it and wham! The car breaks! That is so awesome! This is one powerful Velociraptor. And next up of our brand new Jurassic World Dominion toys is this Owen Escape Pack. And look at all the dinosaurs that it comes with. And of course, Owen on his motorcycle. Let's open it up. All right, so this set comes with three dinosaurs. The first one is a giant Carnotaurus. Look at that, you can see its horns. And I think one of the horns is actually broken. It's a wounded Carnotaurus. And the other two dinosaurs are the mighty Atrociraptors. Look at the coloring on this one. It is striped. It's like bright orange with the white striping. That is crazy. And our other Atrociraptor, ooh, he's in that sneaking pose. He's stalking his prey, which is Owen right now. So you better watch out for this Atrociraptor or he'll sneak up on you. And finally, we've got Owen up here and he comes with a helmet and a tiny little knife. Let's check out Owen. Here is Owen, fits on his motorcycle. It's a bright red motorcycle. And he zooms away while the Atrociraptors chase after him. Run! Next up in our brand new figures, we've got the Ankylosaurus, the Roar Strikers series. Let's open this dinosaur up. Here is the great and mighty Ankylosaurus. Look at all that armor plating on its back. And I love the coloring on this too. It's like a clay red color and it's got brown on the top and all those spikes are a nice bright tan color. And this toy comes with an action as well. You can push down on its back and it'll swing his tail. Watch out for that tail. All right, let's see what other dinosaurs we've got from the Jurassic World Dominion movie. Right here, we've got the good old classic Tyrannosaurus Rex. And this dinosaur actually comes with a cage that you can put on its face that it'll break out of. So right now he's trapped and he's gonna break out in three, two, one, go! That is so cool. This is an awesome dinosaur figure. Up next, we've got a giant Indominus Rex with battle damage. Look at the battle damage on the side right there. 
That's so cool. It comes with sound effects and you can turn the battle damage on and off. And besides the battle damage on the side, you've also got the action where you can open and close its mouth with a button on its tail. This figure is ginormous. This one is super cool to display on my shelf. Over here, we've got another dinosaur with battle damage. This is a Tyrannosaurus battle damage edition. Look at all that damage all over its body. It's got huge gashes on its chin and on its leg, on its side, and even a little bit on its face right there too. This is super cool. I love the detail to this. All the way in the back here, we've got the great Spinosaurus. These dinosaurs are huge in real life. And I love the coloring on this one as well. Look at all that detail. And even look at the skin too. Look at all of those bumps. It looks super realistic. Over here in the corner, we've got another T-Rex, but this one's a bit different than the other ones. It's a bright red, and it's got this action button on the tail. If you press it, there's a chomping action. That is super cool, and I love how bright this T-Rex is. All right, we've got a few more T-Rexes right here. This one is even bigger than this T-Rex over here. Let's check out this one first. This one has the ripping action. Wow, look at that. And it's got the tail action too. That is super cool. And this T-Rex right over here, it's a bit smaller, but still super ferocious. Look at this, we've got another giant Indominus Rex, just like the other one, except this one doesn't have battle damage. This one has a claw slashing action. Look at this. Right up front here, we've got a ginormous Triceratops. And look at that battle damage too. This dinosaur is quite rubbery. The whole outside is rubber, so it feels pretty lifelike. And when you squeeze its chest, its neck moves up and down. That is really cool. Let's keep digging in. Over here, we've got a mighty Carnotaurus with its great horns on the top and the tiny little arms in the front and the action button on its tail to operate its mouth. Oh, better watch out. We've got some of the most ferocious dinosaurs right here. These are the Scorpios Rexes. These things are super scary. And I like that they're mostly black so they can actually sneak around in the dark easier than other dinosaurs. So you'd want to keep your eye out for these at the nighttime. And it's got the claw slashing action as well. Right up front, we've got a gigantic Stegosaurus. Look at this. And it's got some action buttons as well. Look at that, you see? It's moving its head up and down. That is super cool. And on the other side here, if you press this one, it swings its tail back and forth. Oh no, watch out for those spikes. Stay out of the way. Check this out. This is one of my favorite Indominus Rex figures. Look at all the detail. This figure is more of a model because none of the parts move other than its mouth. But I love the coloring on it and how realistic it looks. All right, here are some of my favorite dinosaurs ever. These are giant velociraptors and I love the coloring too. 
They're similar, but this one's like a more teal color, and this is a more jungle green color. I love the stripes and the speckled coloring on this dinosaur. And both of these Velociraptors are super poseable. Look at all the ways that you can move them. And even with the claws on their feet, you can move up and down. That is so cool. Oh, you better watch out. This is an Endoraptor. These dinosaurs are super scary and super smart. You better stay out of the way of these dinosaurs. Look at that gold on the side. And once again, this dinosaur is mostly black as well, so we can sneak around in the night. Look at this. We've got a few Dilophosauruses with their crazy looking frills. Stay out of the way of these dinosaurs or they might spit venom at you. Ooh, right over here. We've got a few more Ankylosauruses. And look at the difference in coloring on these two as well. This one's a lot brighter. It's got that bright blue and like a yellow tan coloring on the bottom. And this one is a green and brown on the bottom. But they've both got those mighty spikes and the mighty armor plating. Let's see the action button on this one. Super cool. And what does this one have? Let's check it out. Let's keep going. There's so many more dinosaurs to see. Wow, look at these two. I think these both are herbivores. I'm actually not sure what type of dinosaur they are. But look at this one. This one has a huge horn on its back. And this one kind of has like a crown on top. It's like a bright yellow right on the top of its head. And this one's got some action buttons as well. Let's see what it does. First button moves its neck. And the second button moves the tail. And on this dinosaur, you can wiggle the tail back and forth to move its head. How cool is that? Oh, check this out. We've got another model dinosaur. This is the mighty T-Rex. And look at that awesome pose that he's in. It's as if he's roaring right now. Oh, look out, we've got another Indominus Rex in here. This one comes with battle damage as well. And you click it, bam, there's the battle damage. And the tail controls the head as well. Watch out for those chomps. Ooh, right over here. This is a Mosasaurus. This dinosaur swims in the ocean and it is a ginormous dinosaur. All right, we've got even more Dilophosauruses in here. Check it out, we've got three more. This one is a giant one. And these two are smaller, but look at the coloring on these. That is so cool. And look at how different they all are. I love the variety in coloring, even for the same species of dinosaur. Oh, and here are some of my favorite dinosaurs again. The Velociraptors. We've got a green one right here. We've got a brown Velociraptor. And of course, the famous blue. Oh, I think there's even more Velociraptors in here. Here we go. We've got another green Velociraptor. This one looks like he's sneaking around, stalking his prey. And then we've got this awesome bright red Velociraptor with green stripes on the back. And this Velociraptor actually has a jumping action. The legs are spring loaded, so when you press down, it'll spring up into the air. Three, two, one. All right, these are our last dinosaurs of the bin. Look at this. I believe this is a Pteranodon maybe? And it's got the battle damage on the top that you can open and close. 
We've also got a baby Triceratops. <laughs> Those massive horns in the front. Super cool. And also a cute little Gallimimus. And this coloring is really cool. It's got the blue top and the orange sides. <laughs>
welcome everyone back to my dinosaur channel. Recently, I just bought a bunch of new dinosaur figurines, so today we're gonna be unboxing all of them. Let's get started. First up is this Tyrannosaurus Rex escape pack. Let's go ahead and open it up. And you attach the tail to the body just by clicking it in, I think. There we go. That was actually really easy. That was easier than I expected. So let's check out this T-Rex. It's got the moving tail, obviously. It's got adjustable legs, adjustable arms. And for the head, we've got this button on the top. That'll open its mouth. Look at that, it's got the tongue, all those teeth right there. This is a pretty cool T-Rex. Next, let's check out the car that came in the pack. So let's go ahead and get this car out. These little twisty things on the bottom. I just love this coloring. Look at the yellow and it fades into the green and the red. That is the classic Jurassic Park look. All the doors open, front and back, so you can fit some of your favorite action figures in here. This is super neat. This might be one of my favorite dinosaur cars that I have in my collection. Let's check out the human that came in this set. So we can see it's a little child there, and then it also comes with the night vision goggles. And let's go ahead and get those night vision goggles on the kid. All right, check it out. Let's go ahead and get him seated in the car right here in the front seat. And along comes the T-Rex. So just like in the movie, you can press down on the glass on the top here and try to break in and eat the person that's inside. This is really cool. And I really like that they released a classic looking car like this too. Next up, we've got this huge Apatosaurus figurine. Look how big this figurine is once you put it together. And this is from the new Jurassic World Legacy Collection. And as you can see, we've already opened up the box and taken it out. So let me show you the fully built figure. Bam, here we go. Look at the size of this thing. This is huge. Its mouth opens and closes. Look at that detail. Even its teeth are painted properly. That looks really good. The head swivels and moves. And you can see right here that the neck moves side to side. The legs are fully functional as well. And finally, the tail too. All in all, this dinosaur is huge. It's probably from tail to the head, it might be three or four feet long. Well, I guess the box said 41 inches. So there you have it right there. That's how big it is. But this one is huge. I really like this one. Oh, here's one of my favorite ocean predators right here. This is the Mosasaurus. Let's go ahead and open this up and check it out fully put together. All right, so we've got the main body right here. The mouth already attached. Here's the tail. Let's go ahead and attach the tail and it just clicks right in. And then in the box also comes the four fins. Let's click this first one in, and the second one, third right here, and the fourth one. Here is the great Mosasaurus. This one is super long too. Maybe three feet long, two or three feet long. <coughs> it's got all the individual teeth on the front. It probably fit some dinosaurs in its mouth too. And the movable fins and the tail as well. And we do have some other Mosasaurus figurines in my collection, but I do notice that this one that I just bought, it's like a darker colored blue or like a purple than the other Mosasauruses that I have. So I am super excited to add this one to my dinosaur collection. Let's move on. The next one we're looking at is the Pentaceratops from the Jurassic World Dino Escape series. And this is part of the Mega Destroyers. So 
take the dinosaur out. And over here is the cage for to trap the dinosaur's head. Now we're going to take the face cage thing and we're going to put it on the pentasaurus. All right, got it on now. So you can see that the pentasaurus is trapped inside the cage. It can't really attack anyone or really move around that easily. But like we saw in the box, this has a breakout function. So see these two buttons on the back right here? The front one is gonna make it shake and break free. Let's check it out, ready? Three, two, one, go! Wow, that was awesome. It broke free so easily. And the second button here, let's see what that does. Oh, so it twists from side to side when you press that button. And look at the size of the bony frill on this Pentasaurus. That is much larger than you'd see on a Triceratops. And of course, it's got the horns up front here and on top as well. This is a ferocious looking dinosaur. We wouldn't want to mess with this one in the wild. Next up, we've got this multi-pack right here. Let me take off the plastic. This is the Ultimate Baryonyx Breakout Battle Damage Edition. Let's open it up and check it out. First, let's check out the Baryonyx. So we've got the body right here and the tail's right up here. Let's grab that as well. Okay, let's put the tail on the dinosaur. Clicks right in. Let's see, so this figure has one action button on it, a button right here, and it looks like that one opens and shuts the mouth. And there are no batteries required for this one, so it has no sound effects or anything like that. You can see that it's got that battle damage right there on its neck and even a little bit on its leg as well. And in the rest of the pack, you can see we've got Owen and his motorcycle right there. And look at all these accessories. He's got a helmet. He's got body armor. Is that a, I think that's a radio pack of some sort, maybe. And he's got some weapons right there. And let's, let's take a look at the figure itself. So it's a fully adjustable body. You can see that its legs can bend, its arms can bend, even at the elbows as well face can swivel and on the motorcycle the wheels spin and it's even got a kickstand that you can put up and down look how tiny it is this is a pretty cool pack it comes with quite a few different pieces so you have your own little uh dinosaur setup right here so yeah this one is pretty cool i would recommend checking out this pack all right let's keep unboxing these new dinosaurs Next up, we've got the Carcharodontosaurus, also from the Jurassic World Dino Escape toy line. This is also a Mega Destroyer. All right, so before we put on the cage, let's check it out. Look at the coloring on this. So it's mostly blue, and then it's got the orange on the top, but it's like speckled with that brown. And then it's got that one line of spikes along its back. Let's check out the action button right here. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna be able to break free from the cage we've got. Let's go ahead and put this on the dinosaur. Wow, that was pretty easy. All right, here we go. It's gonna break free from the cage. You ready? Three, two, one, go! Break free, come on, you can do it. All right, and there you go. This is a very neat dinosaur. Let's move on to our next one. All right, look at how many we still have in here. There's, there's still tons more to go. Let's check out this Kentrosaurus next. Let's go ahead and put on those spikes on its sides. All right, so we've got the spikes out of the packaging. Look at the size of these spikes. So these spikes are gonna go right into the side right here. And it clicks right in there. Wow, look at that. And on the other side, and finally, the tail. And it clicks right into the back. And there we go. Check out the spikes all over its body. Look at these shoulder spikes, like I was saying. Those are probably used for defense, as well as the spikes on its tail. The ginormous spikes, look at that. And we've got an action button up top here. Let's try it out and see what happens.
that's pretty cool. So when you press the button, the front swivels side to side, and I bet those spikes will probably hit whoever is standing in the way when it does that. This is pretty neat. I'm liking this one. Let's check out our next dinosaur. Next up, we've got this Tyrannosaurus pack. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Sure enough, I'm pretty sure that's a baby Tyrannosaurus. But uh, if you guys know whether it's an adult or a baby, let me know in the comments below. First, let's check out these little dinosaurs. They all look pretty identical. All of them got this green color. Plus, their mouths do open and close as well. Look at that, even how small they are. And here's the T-Rex. And this one is very adjustable. Look at that. Can adjust the ankle at the knee, can swivel all around. The jaw will open and shut too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one is a baby dinosaur. It looks so small and cute, look at that. And it came with what looks like, I don't know if those are bandages or something, but I think we put this on the T-Rex. And this one too. So it looks like this bandage goes on to the leg of the T-Rex right here. It straps on, we just did surgery on it. So you gotta protect that wound. And then this is a muzzle. It goes right on the jaw right there. So now it can't bite anyone. Very cool, all right. Let's move on to our next dinosaur. All right, which one should we choose next? Oh, you know what? I was super excited about this one. This isn't a dinosaur, but it's a replica of a Spinosaurus tooth. Look at the size of that. Let's open it up. Wow, look at the size of that tooth. That's like three or four inches long or even longer. And this replica here is very detailed. It's got cracks all over and the painting is like black on the top. This is very cool. This will look great on one of my shelves. All right, let's keep going. Here's another one. This is the Ceratosaurus. There we go. All right, so we've got the body right here and then the tail. It's tucked away inside the box. Let's get that out too. And let's attach the tail to the body. Clicks right in. There we go. All right, here is the Ceratosaurus. We've got this action button on top. Let's try that out. Very interesting. So it's actually a few different buttons in one. So the more you slide it up, the more it opens its mouth. Very cool, and check out the horn right on the nose. This dinosaur is awesome. All right, let's check out our next dinosaur. All right, here we go with our next dinosaur. Let's get it out of the bag. All right, check this out. This looks like a Mosasaurus, and it could be, I'm not entirely sure, but I will say, look at the spikes on the back. Those are some really sharp spikes. I mean, they won't hurt me if I poke, but in real life, those would hurt a lot, I think. Very cool. Let's go with this one right here. Wow, check this one out. This is a Spinosaurus. Check it out, there's that huge spine on its back. Its mouth opens and closes. This one is a little bit smaller than our other Spinosaurus figures, but I will say this one has a bit more detail with the painting. And look at those teeth right there. Those are some mean teeth. Did you know that Spinosauruses actually did a lot of hunting in the water? I didn't know that before, but I recently found that out. This is very cool. Let's check out our other dinosaurs. I see another cool looking one right here. All right, this is an Endoraptor, but it looks a bit different than the other ones that I have because look at this orange coloring on the side. That is unique to this Endoraptor. I haven't seen that before. 
And uh, this one is more like a model because the arms and legs don't move. So it's in this like crawling pose right there. But that is pretty neat. I like this one. All right, and in this bag, oh, look at that. This is an Indominus Rex. And this one is also more like a model figure. The arms and legs don't move, but this one has great detail as well. Look at that on its side. Look at the spikes on its back and on its teeth, its tongue. Huge attention to detail, which is really cool. And next up, looks like we've got a three pack of, it says pterodactyls. Let's take a look. So we've got our first one here. And our second pterodactyl. This has different coloring and is a bit bigger. Look at the back too. And the third one. Although, this is a very different looking pterodactyl. Do you know if this is a pterodactyl? Why don't you let me know in the comments below. Is this a pterodactyl or is this a different type of flying dinosaur? <coughs> That was super exciting unboxing all these dinosaurs. Thanks for joining and I'll see you next time. Be sure to subscribe. back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, we are checking out my collection of hybrid, battle damage, and other super cool and unique dinosaurs. Starting with this battle damage Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's open it up. Here is the completed Tyrannosaurus Rex. Here is the battle damage. When you press this button on top, that's when the battle damage comes out. Look at that. So you can switch back and forth and it shows up on both sides too. This is a super cool T-Rex. I'm super excited to add this to my collection. Right up front here, we've got a super cool and unique looking Indominus Rex. I think this one is a hybrid, don't you think? Look at the coloring on this. It's got bright red, it's got the gold feet. Look at the horns on top too. That is different from a normal Indominus Rex. Let's see what uh, cool functions this has. There's a button right here. Let's see what happens when we press that button. Wow, very cool. Those are some giant spikes. You definitely don't see that on a normal Indominus Rex. Let's open up this brand new Albertosaurus. This is a battle damaged dinosaur. All right, so here's the battle damage on its side. You can see that we've got some scrapes on its leg and the main feature is this ginormous battle damage right here on its side. Look at that. Even the bones can go up and down to reveal what's underneath. So you can put the bones back in place and then you can cover it up so it looks like a normal dinosaur. And then you just touch it and it flips open. That is super neat. All right, here we've got a hybrid Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one definitely looks different than a normal T-Rex because of those giant spikes on its back right there. Look at that. And you can actually close them and hide them. And then you press this button and bam, there go the spikes. That is super cool. And I love the coloring on this too. Look at that green and then it goes into the yellow on the bottom. This is a super cool hybrid Tyrannosaurus Rex. Next up, we've got a special delivery. Let's open this up and see what's inside. All right, can you guess what's inside? I am super excited. Oh, no way, that's so cool. This is a battle damaged T-Rex. Look at that on its side. Look at all that damage that this T-Rex has taken from its fighting. And look at that even on its face too on its neck. That is super cool. I really like these battle damaged dinosaurs. And over here, one of the biggest dinosaurs in my bin, 
is the Battle Damage Indominus Rex. Look at that. Just like the T-Rex that we saw earlier, the Battle Damage is on its side and you can open and close it like this. Well, the button doesn't seem to be working too well right now. There it is. There's the Battle Damage. And it has the button on its tail to open and close the mouth too. This Indominus Rex is the full package. Super cool. Here we've got a brand new Battle Damage Piranodon. Let's open it up. So this is a pretty small dinosaur, but look at the top right there. You can flip open the top and bam, there's the Battle Damage and you can close it so it's all healed once again. This is super cool. All right, we've got some more Battle Damage T-Rexes. These are my favorite. Look at that Battle Damage. And these T-Rexes are fully poseable. Look at that. You can keep his mouth open like that. Here is the next Battle Damage T-Rex. And just like the other one we saw, it's got some scrapes on its tail, on its legs, on its side, and even on its face again. Look at that. This is one fierce T-Rex. This has been through a lot of battles, don't you think? This one is super bright, look at that. I think this one is a hybrid Dilophosaurus, don't you think? It's got those frills on the front. Look at that bright orange on its back too. Wow, check this one out. We've got a ginormous Triceratops. And there's the battle damage on the side. Look at that. The skin is made entirely out of rubber. And when you squeeze it, the head can go up and down too. And this is from actually the original Jurassic Park toy line. So this is actually a pretty old classic toy. Here is a ginormous Stegosaurus. And look at that. It's got the battle damage right on its side as well. Check out these spikes. Look at the size of that. You can swing that around and you do not want to be in the way of those spikes. Watch out, here comes the Stegosaurus. Here is another Dilophosaurus, but this one is also super brightly colored. Do you think this is a hybrid? And if so, what do you think it's a hybrid with? Here is one of the stars of the new Jurassic World movies. This is the Endoraptor. This one is super cool because you can bend and adjust all over its body. Look at that. It is super adjustable. Even its neck you can twist and move up and down. This is a super neat Endoraptor toy. Here's a fun fact about the Endoraptor. Did you know that typically they like to run on all fours? But if they need to, they'll stand up on their two hind legs for fighting or for running or whatever they need to do. Here is a teeny tiny little Tyrannosaurus Rex. And look at that battle damage on its side too. Here is another one of my favorite dinosaurs from the new Jurassic World movie. This is the Scorpios Rex. And this is a hybrid dinosaur. Check this one out. This is a little Mosasaurus that goes swimming in the ocean. And it's got the battle damage on the side. That is super cool. All right, we've got another battle damage Albertosaurus. And right here, here's the battle damage. Once again, you can move the bones up and down or you can hide it completely. Did you know that Albertosauruses weighed as much as a car? That is ginormous. That is so cool. Here we've got a little Spinosaurus. I think that's a Spinosaurus, but look how bright it is. It's bright blue and bright red. I definitely think that this is a hybrid. Plus, it's got battle damage on the side too.
Look out, here comes a Stegosaurus. It's got the battle damage on the side. And I'm not sure, do you think this is a hybrid? It's got some unique stripes on the side. I actually can't tell if this is a hybrid or not. But it definitely looks really cool, don't you think? All right, here we've got two more Triceratops too. And look how different they are. This one's a bright green, this is a darker green, but they both have the battle damage. Look at that, it's got the scrape on its side, and the bright green one has one that you can flip up and down. That is super impressive. Look at that over here, we've got a little itty bitty Velociraptor. This is blue, the Velociraptor. And we've got the battle damage on the side too. That is so cool. Oh, we've got a bunch of small dinosaurs here. Look at this. Let's check these out. And they all have battle damage too. This is the Herrerasaurus. Look at that battle damage on the side too. This one is the Stygimaloc. Look at the horns on the top of its head. Those are massive. And of course, it's got the battle damage on the side too. This one is a Monolophosaurus. Check that out on the side. You can open and close it, and its mouth opens and closes too. And of course, we've got a Triceratops with the battle damage. That is super impressive. Look at those horns too. Only a few dinosaurs left. This is the Pachycephalosaurus. This dinosaur has a super hard head so it can go bumping and headbutting into other dinosaurs. And check out that battle damage as well. Our third to last dinosaur is the Baryonyx. And check out the special feature on this dinosaur. It has a sliding button on its back that'll slowly open its mouth. That's incredible. This is super cool. Next up, we've got a super cool looking Allosaurus. This is one of my favorite dinosaurs. And just like the last one we saw, it has that special sliding button. And our last dinosaur, the Suchomimus. And the special feature for this dinosaur is this big old button on the back that moves its neck and makes it roar too. I hope you enjoyed these super cool battle damage, hybrid, and special feature dinosaurs. I'll see you in the next video. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out this huge collection of dinosaur toys that I have on my shelves right here. Let's go ahead and start right over here with the Tapehara. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's a little winged dinosaur. Look at that, that is pretty cool. But what I'm most excited to show you is this giant T-Rex right here. Look at the size of that thing. And it's custom color too. Up next, we've got a little Chialingosaurus right here. It's a cute little guy, you know? Beside it, we've got this nice little Indominus Rex here. It's like a little baby Indominus Rex. And its mouth opens and closes too. And then right beside it, We've got Mama Indominus Rex. Wow, look at the size of that thing. And it's even got a stomach compartment so you can actually feed the dinosaur other smaller dinosaurs. And right beside it, we've got another gigantic T-Rex. Look at that. This is so cool. This is such a huge dinosaur. And 
right beside it, we've got a little dinosaur called the Shringosaurus. Check out those horns. It's a funny looking dinosaur, don't you think? Over here, we've got this cool rubbery Indominus Rex. It's got this rubber skin texture that makes it feel kind of like a real life skin, you know? And right beside it, we've got one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Carnotaurus. Look at how ferocious they look and those huge horns on top. Up next, we've got another massive T-Rex. Look at the size of that compared to the dinosaurs beside it. And this one's a cool gray color too. Look at those teeth. Those are some huge teeth. Moving on, we've got a little baby Triceratops right here. Look how cute he is. And he's got the battle damage on the side as well. And right beside it, we've got another vicious red dinosaur too. This is an awesome colored dinosaur. Check that out. And at the very end of the shelf here, we've got a cute little Gallimimus. Isn't that cute? Moving on to the next shelf, we've got this giant Quetzalcoatlus. Look at the size of this thing. Those wings are huge. Up next, we've got a mama Dilophosaurus and a baby Dilophosaurus still inside the egg. Moving on over here, we've got this awesomely covered Sarcosagus. Over here, we've got this yellow dinosaur with the red top and that huge horn, but I'm not sure what kind of dinosaur this is. Do you know? Why don't you let me know in the comments below? On our next shelf, we've got this awesome looking Triceratops. Look at the size of those horns and all those little horns along the edge too. Right beside it, we've got this cute little Ankylosaurus right here. And up next, we've got this massive Ceratosaurus. Let's see what kind of noises it makes. Wow, that is super amazing. Right next to it is a dinosaur called the Calovosaurus. This is a smaller dinosaur, but look at that coloring too. I really like that yellow and blue combination. Up next, we've got the Aranosaurus, and it's got a button right here. Let's see what happens. Whoa, that is super cool. That is awesome. On to the next shelf over here. This is a Dracorex. It's a smaller dinosaur, but check out all those spikes on its head right there. And right next to it, we've got another big dinosaur, the Cryolophosaurus here. Look at that yellow coloring with the orange on top. That is super cool. Right beside it, we've got a giant Pteranodon. Look at the size of this thing. It has to be like a foot wide with the wings. And the final dinosaur on this level is the Suchomimus. <laughs> Moving down to the next shelf, we've got a huge Indominus Rex. Look at this. And he's even got space inside the mouth that you can fit dinosaurs in. Right beside it, I've got a little Herrerasaurus. This is a little guy, you know, but it's still a pretty cool collectible. And of course, one of the most popular dinosaurs, the T-Rex. And right beside it, we've got one of the largest ocean dinosaurs, the Mosasaurus. This is a super cool dinosaur. And I love having this one on my shelf. All right, let's move on. Oh, over here, check this out. This is a Scorpios Rex. Wow, that is super cool. Right beside him, we've got Owen from the Jurassic World movies. Say hi, Owen. <laughs> Up next, we've got this beautifully colored Narsudoceratops. And I think the horns on this guy is even bigger than a Triceratops. Look at that. And over here, we've got this little T-Rex green colored but it has the battle damage on the side too and right beside it we've got the Carcharodontosaurus and it has an action button that is super awesome and the last one on this shelf 
is the Dilophosaurus with that super bright coloring. <laughs> Up next, we've got another giant Indominus Rex. But check this one out. This is a hybrid Indominus Rex. Look at that coloring and the spikes and the gold on its claw. And it's got this button right here. That is so cool. Right beside it, I've got this little Gallimimus dinosaur. And right next to that, the Albertosaurus. And this dinosaur has battle damage as well. Check that out. Moving on, we've got a huge Stegosaurus right here with those massive spikes on its tail right there. And the last one on this level is the beautiful Concava Nodder. Look at that bright red on its back and that purple right on its face too. And it's got an action button. Let's see what happens. All right, moving down a level, here we go. All right, another giant Mosasaurus. Everyone watch out. And over here, we've got another small water dinosaur. This is called the Plesiosaurus. Right beside it, this awesome T-Rex. And look at this button on it. Look at what it does. Wow, look at that roar action. That is so cool. And in the middle shelf, we've got a Baryonyx right here. Oops, I knocked over this guy. This one is a Pachycephalosaurus. And another T-Rex. Look how giant these are compared to the other dinosaurs. That is so cool. And right next to the T-Rex, I've got this awesome colored Dimetrodon. Look at this. Look at the size of that spine on its back too. And over here, oh, do you see that? It's a Velociraptor. Look out, oh no. And over here, perched on its rock, is a Pteranodon, one of the coolest flying dinos. At least I think so. Okay, moving on to the next shelf. We've got this awesome looking Baryonyx. Look at that. And right beside it, a cute little Stiggy Moloch with battle damage on the side. <laughs> Over here, we've got a giant Stegosaurus. Look at the size of this thing compared to the Stiggy Moloch. That is huge. But wait, you haven't seen huge until you've seen the next one, which is the giant Spinosaurus. Wow! This dinosaur is so cool. And the final dinosaur on this level is the great Carnotaurus. Everybody watch out! All right, let's move down another level. This is the final level and it has some more giant dinosaurs like this giant Apatosaurus. Look at the size of this guy. Right beside it, I've got this awesome blue Velociraptor. Look at the coloring on him. And right beside it, we've got another giant Spinosaurus. <laughs> These are so cool. I love the coloring on their spines. But wait, there's even more. Look at this giant Velociraptor. This is huge, it's probably two or three feet long. And right below it, we've got Blue the Velociraptor as well. Moving on to the next shelf here, what do we have? We've got a giant Carnotaurus, look at those horns. And it's even got some battle damage as well, look at that. And with this dinosaur, you can actually feed it smaller dinosaurs, and it has a stomach compartment at the bottom too. That is super cool and a baby Carnotaurus, look at that. Over beside it, we've got a family of Brachiosauruses here. Look, here's the first baby, and here's the second baby, and then we've got the Mama Brachiosaurus right here. This one is huge. But check out beside it on the next shelf, this is a giant T-Rex, and look at all the battle damage that it has on its neck and on its face too. Look at the size of those teeth right there. Some of them are broken because this is an old toy, 
but this is still a really cool looking T-Rex. And look at that, right next to it, we've got a smaller T-Rex, ready to fight as well. And right beneath it is another dinosaur that I would not want to mess with in the wild because of the size of these spikes. This is the Sora Pelta. And last but certainly not least is this giant Velociraptor and this tiny little Dimorphodon on top. But check out this Velociraptor. Look at those teeth in its mouth. And just like the other giant dinosaurs I have, this Velociraptor has a stomach compartment. So you can actually feed it small dinosaurs and it goes all the way down to its stomach where you can take them out again. That is super cool. All right, that is all the dinosaurs that I am currently displaying on my dinosaur shelves. I hope you enjoyed checking out all these dinosaurs and I can't wait to see you next time when I show you even more. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, we are unboxing a bunch of dinosaurs that we think are gonna be in the upcoming Jurassic World Dominion movie. I'm super excited for the movie and I'm super excited to show you all these dinosaurs. So let's get started with this T-Rex. Look at this coloring here. It's got like the camouflage coloring. It's got the green and then the dark brown on the top. And on the bottom here, you can see this button that makes the sound every time the T-Rex stomps on the ground like this. That is really cool. And if you move the tail, it moves the T-Rex's head too. This is super cool. This is one of my favorite T-Rexes right here. All right, next up is the famous Spinosaurus. Did you know that Spinosauruses are actually larger than Tyrannosaurus rexes? And Spinosauruses are actually the largest predator dinosaur that we know of. All right, next up, we've got this gigantic Mosasaurus figure. All the fins pivot and the mouth opens and closes. Look at those eyes too. Did you know that Mosasauruses are actually not considered dinosaurs? They are reptiles and actually pretty closely related to snakes. That's really interesting. I didn't know that before. All right, here we go. An Indominus Rex. Look at the size of those claws on its feet. Claws on its hands too. Wow, those are massive. It's got the spikes on the back of its head too. Look at these two action buttons. Got one up here, and then one on the tail for the jaw. And over here, we've got a T-Rex. And look at this button on the top. When you press it, it whips its head around like it's tearing a piece of meat. Look at that. And the other button on its back moves the tail back and forth. That's pretty cool. All right, we've got another Spinosaurus. This one is colored differently. It's mostly green and it's got the red and white stripes on the spine. Next up in our bin, we've got the Sarcosagus. And look at the coloring on this one. It's like a dark purple on top, and it's got that red and orange, and then a gray blue belly and side as well. And check out the teeth on this thing too. Did you know that both the Sarcosagus here and the Spinosaurus lived near water? Which means that in real life, they probably battled each other all the time for food and for territory. <laughs> And speaking of Spinosauruses, here is another one. And this has the brown coloring on the side and also the red spine, just like the other Spinosauruses we've seen. Uh, 
And look at that, we've got another Indominus Rex in our bin. Look at the size difference between an Indominus Rex and the T-Rex toy. The Indominus Rex is bigger than the T-Rex. And I really like this T-Rex toy. It's quite controllable, as you can see with the tail. You can move its head, you can twist its head when you twist the tail, and it's got the button on the tail as well if you want to operate the mouth. Did you know that we still actually are not sure why T-Rex's front arms are so small? We're not entirely sure. I find that super interesting. Let's keep digging. Let's see what else is in here. All right. We got a Scorpios Rex right here. Did you know that these spines are actually venomous? And when they're attacked, they'll hit their opponent with this tail and these spines will actually stay in their opponent. Just like a porcupine, actually. All right, let's keep digging through our bin. Check this out. This, ooh, this, this is a really loud dinosaur. This is a Majungasaurus and it's got the green coloring on most of its body, and then like the yellow stripes on its back. Wow, this one is quite noisy. Look at that blue coloring on its neck too. That's pretty cool. And when you move the tail on this toy, its head moves up and down too. Ooh, look at this. This one right here is a Sinoceratops. And look at all those horns on the front too. And next up in our bin, we've got a gray Allosaurus. And it's got that yellow pattern on the top of its body right there. When we press this action button. Ooh. Those are cool sound effects. And look at those teeth, too. All right, here we go. I remember this from the other Jurassic World movies. Here is the Endoraptor. It's black, and it's got that gold stripe down the side. These dinosaurs are quite sneaky in the movie. And here we've got a flying dinosaur. This is a pteranodon. It's got the red wings on the top and like the blue green body and its mouth opens and closes too. And when you press the button on its back, the wings flap. All right, check it out. We've actually got three Dilophosauruses in this bin. Look, we've got a green one here. We've got a gray one right here. And then we've got like a dark brown one right here with the blue top. Yeah. Very cool. Only a few more left. One of my favorites, a Velociraptor. It's got the gold top. Look at how shiny that is. And the blue sides. <laughs> Only three left. Next up is this Stygimoloch. And look on its side, it's got that battle damage that you can flip open. Look at the horns on the top, too. And for our final two dinosaurs in the bin, we've got a Dimetrodon here with the red spine. And look at that, its mouth opens and closes. And we've got a Gallimimus. It's a small little dinosaur. Its neck moves up and down, though. Its arms move up and down, and its legs as well. All right, that is today's haul. I am super excited to see the Jurassic World Dominion movie when it comes out. Why don't you go ahead and comment below which dinosaur you're most excited to see in the movie. I'll see you next time. Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.